Hey everyone, this is the 1.5 guided practice with Mr. V. I'm going to be doing the odds. So on the first page, we're talking about rates, ratios, and conversions. We have two different things. We have peanuts and we have cashews. So on this first one, make sure you look at the specific vocabulary of what the question is asking. First one says express, express the relationships of calories to ounces. So for both peanuts and cashews. So for peanuts, we're going to do calories, two ounces, calories for every, there's going to be 510 for every three ounces. Now you can also write this as 510 for every three. Okay. And then for cashews, we're going to have 240. Oh, sorry. For to every uh, 1.5. So then what you can do is you can see if you can reduce it all. If I just said 510 divided by 3, I got 170. So that'd be 170 for every one serving. And if I did 240 divided by 1.5, I would get 160. So that'd be 160. For every one serving. All right, going on to three, express the relationships between grams of fat and ounces as a rate for the peanuts and cashews. So we're doing the same thing, but now we have fat and ounces. So for peanuts, fat, we have 42 grams for three ounces. So that'd be 42 for three. Ounces. I can't divide uh, 42 by 3, so that's the, actually I can, so that would be um, 14 for every 1 ounce. And what I would then have to do is, so that's, that's 14 uh, grams of fat for every 1 ounce for the peanuts. And then for cashews. I am looking at 19.5 for every 1.5. So then I would write that as 19.5 for every 1.5. And if I divide 19.5 divided by 1.5, it's 13, so you get 13 for every 1. Uh, number five, a friend wants to produce products that are low in calories and fat and high in protein, which would be the better choice for this friend, peanuts or cashews. So we're looking that are low in calories and fat and then high in protein. Uh, we have grams of fat from number three. All right, and we can see that the ratio would better be would be better for cashews in terms of fat. So cashews uh, for fat, and then uh, I'm a, I'm assuming number four has the protein. But if I look, just looked at it real quick, it's six grams for every one point five ounces, and this one says. Peanuts is 21 for every three, so I know that this is going to be seven grams for every one ounce, and six, uh, sorry, six divided by 1.5. It would be 2.4, roughly. Uh, so in terms of protein, you'd want to go with peanuts. All right, now we get into some of our ratios, rates, and conversions. So we're going to do 15 days for every hour. We need to know that there, there are 24 hours in one day. So let's do it like this. We have 15 days, and that's going to be over one. We want to convert that into, remember, days is going to be on the bottom. 
So there are 24 hours for every one day or days. So then what I have to do is, remember I'm not going to cross multiply, I'm going to multiply across. So 15 times 24 is going to be 360. So it's going to be a total of 360 hours. Check my answer. I got that one right. And just real quick, I'm going to hide all the evens all right then we have a thousand meters to centimeter i'm sorry a hundred meters to centimeter so i'm going to do a hundred centimeters i'm going to put that over one and i want to make the trans or i want to convert that into sorry back up a second here i got this one wrong 100 meters over one, that's what I'm starting with. I want to convert that into centimeters, and then meters goes on the bottom. So how many centimeters are in a meter? There are 100, I believe, centimeters in one meter. So then I would multiply 100 times 100, and I would get... So let me double check my math here. Otherwise, I'm going to one, two, three, four zeros. So that'd be 10,000 centimeters. Remember to label. Check my answer. Good to go. Let me get rid of these evens here. All right, let's keep moving. So I got 12 meters. I'm going to do 12 meters. I'm just going to put that over one right away. Then I want to convert that into feet. And the meters goes on the bottom. Now what I got to see, I got to find out is how many feet are in a meter. Okay, so I believe it's 2.2, but I'm going to look it up regardless just so I'm not wrong. Uh, nope, I was wrong. So the length is one meter is going to be 3.28084. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run to the nearest tenth. So that's going to be about 3.3. So then in my calculator, I am going to uh, do 12 times 3.3, and I get 39.6. So it's going to be a little bit off because I didn't use, because I rounded, and that's okay. So remember, when you when you have this meters, this is going to cancel out, and this is going to cancel out, and you're going to be left with just feet. So I rounded up to 30, 30, or 3.3, .3, when in reality I should have did it at 3.28, etc., etc., but... It's still close enough, so 39.6 uh, feet total. All right, five liters for quart. So I'll have five liters over one. I want to put that into quarts. And then liters are going to be in the bottom. I believe there's uh, four quarts in liter. I'm, it's been a while. Let me check this. All right, one quart is 0.95 liters. So one quart is 0.95 liters. So then what I'm going to do is I am going to uh, then end up, this is going to cancel, this is going to cancel. Five times one is five, and that's going to be one times nine, or 0.95 is 0.95. And I'm going to do 5 divided by 0.95. Uh, that 5 divided by 0.95 is 5.26. Mr. Clutter says 5.28. I believe that is close enough. So I would have 
5.26 quarts. He's got 5.28. I think he rounded wrong. I'm probably right. He's, he's probably wrong. We'll see. I'll be the judge of that. Anyways, uh, let's do the next one. Number nine here. Nine, 15 pounds to grams. So I have 15 pounds over one. I want to make that into grams. The pounds will be on the bottom. How many grams are in a pound? I'm going to look that up on my computer. Grams per pound. Uh, one pound is going to be equal to 453. So 453.592. Okay. So I'm going to multiply across. The, these are going to cancel out. So it'll be 15 times 453.592. I'll get 6803.88. Mr. Class got 0 0.89. That's all right. It's close enough. So I have 6803.88. And that's going to be grams. Again, I'm most likely going to be right here. We're talking about Mr. Class. Come on now. All right, last one on the bottom, number 11. Uh, did I do 11 on the second page? Uh, we're not going to do these here. I'll do it on the front. 11, three miles to feet. So three miles over one. I'm going to convert that into feet. And then miles is on the bottom. I know that in one mile, there is 5,280 feet. So then I'm going to multiply across, so three times, because this is going to cancel out here. Three times 5,280 is going to be 15,840 feet. And then you could put it over one, but any number over one is just going to be itself. So 15,840 feet. All right. Uh, there is a 13. Uh, 13 on the next page. And 14 we don't have to do because, at least I don't have to do it. You have to do it. But if you have any questions on it, feel free to let me know. All right. The builder measures the perimeter of a foundation to be 425. He must order steel beams to install around the perimeter of the foundation. Steel must be ordered in meters. How many meters of steel should the builder order? So really, what we have is 425 feet, and we need to get that into meters. So this is gonna be over one, and then however many meters per feet, right? So how many meters are in a foot? I already looked this up before, but I'm going to do it again just so I'm sh making sure I'm right. So, meter to feet is going to be uh, one meter is going to be 3.28084. Okay? Now, again, I'm going to multiply across, and so 425. over 3.28084. The feet cross out. So I'll do four, I'll do it on my calculator, 425 divided by 3.28084. That should give me 129. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run the nearest tenth, so that'll be 0.5. Mr. Class rounded from the tenth. This is the tenth. This is the hundredth. So both is fine. Five four, and then make sure that we always label. It'll be one hundred twenty nine point five four meters of steel. All right. As always, feel free to email me or Mr. Cladis. You can always stop by. Uh, if you need some health, help, not health, help, you can also check out the math lab. So plenty of resources. Uh, hope you have a good night. Thanks.